So yeah, again, you're going to have to bear with me. This is going to be a slow process just getting back to speed, I think. All right, asking about this guy, Little Jesus Mordino. Oh. Assuming that's who this, uh, is the guy with the knife. Yeah, that's Jesus' little boy. <laughs> little Jesus. Him and that knife are like close friends. I've seen him do some wicked things with it. Anyways, can I get you something, friend? All right, didn't explain much. All right, talking to little Jesus. <laughs> something you want, Chico. Chico. I guess his knife isn't for sale. If you gotta ask, my name's Jesus. Jesus Mordino. Same as my dad, he's the big Jesus. Head of the whole Mordino family here in Reno. So most call me Little Jesus. Prevents confusion, you know? Alright. Alright, look at this. Possible work. So the Mordino family's hiring. Does she want to work for people named Jesus? I don't know. <laughs> She'll ask. She doesn't have to accept. He's shaking his head. We don't hire Chico's. Except in certain positions. Try Pa upstairs. Alright. Just talk to Jesus Senior. <laughs> Big Jesus. Yeah, alright, ask him what else is around. Say, how about you and me get down to some sweet love? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start without her. Alright. Alright, here's the stairs up. Oh, that's the bathroom. Martino's men. Looks like some bookshelves in here, though. What's this? The pool table. Have they got bets placed on it? No. Nothing on it. Alright, down her hands off. Okay. Must be more than books. <laughs> Shelf. Look at this guy, he's probably on a security camera. It's interesting. The house have mercy on me. Some guys, well, what does that mean? Is he winning? Monitor, I don't think she can see anything. Yeah, or do anything. No computer either, all right. Bathrooms? I guess that's the guy's room with the urinal and the girly poster. <laughs> What's a guy doing in the ladies' room? Probably a junkie. Yeah. Doesn't even know where he is. Alright, love a girl's in the way. All right, I think we'll check upstairs. Look for Big Jesus. Is that Big Jesus? <laughs> yeah. All right. Actually, it looks like this would be a place to stay. You know what? In case things don't go well with Big Jesus, let's just poke around a little bit, I think. This paper machine. Of course, you're still looking for reading material. Maybe the sequel to, uh, what was it, The Lavender Bed? I can't remember the book that... What is she reading? Pookie. Some ridiculous romance novel. Yeah, Lavender Flower. It's probably a <laughs> sequel floating around somewhere. My robo dogs in the way. This... Alright, it's not a bathroom. Utility closet. Now it looks like a cooler. Probably drugs. Alright, we'll take that. We gotta get a doctor's bag for uh, 
back. It's in bad shape. Alright, so apparently this guy doesn't care. <laughs> Oh, this is a couple, or this is like client and <laughs> professional service woman. Ah, oh, townsfolk. Golgotha, south of Reno in the desert. Golgotha. Golgotha. Is that the, um. Is that that Deathclaw? The sentient Deathclaw? Which actually reminds me, I think that was, um. Who mentioned that? Oh no, that was something I think I wrote in my notes. When she was hacking the Sheet Temple, there was a reference to Dr. Sheng and his botany sentience serum, which is probably a reference to the uh, plant that was talking in Broken Hills. At the time, I didn't realize that. There were some other things. I, th I was trying to figure out what the kitchen on a ship was called. Probably said mess. It's galley. Oh, I think you can say mess deck. It's another synonym. Alright, this guy's not reading anything. <laughs> Alright, more security. Oop. Alright. More than books on that. Telling her to stay away. Yeah. Fix complaining. Fix out of lock. Says more Dino's men. Alright, it's probably time to talk to uh, Big Jesus. There's like two foyers. Look at this waiting room. Alright, just gonna be. Try to follow protocol. Find out how she can talk to Big Jesus. <laughs> Make sure we don't do this wrong. I ain't got time for you right now. All right. <laughs> it's a chair. Too bad you don't have time to sit down and relax. It's her sentiments exactly. Blow, tribal. Yeah, I guess in some ways I, I've missed this game. Alright. <laughs> Time for Big Jesus. A fat man with beady black eyes, covered in sweat and breathing heavily. Oh, look at this thing, he's wheezy. And he's with... <laughs> <laughs> this bed. All right. He's probably gonna get in. Oh, okay. He turns to face Lily. He looks sick with fever, and sweat trickles down his face and stains his clothes. That's disgusting. He's staring at her, and it looks like he's waiting for her to speak. Yeah, asking if it's Big Jesus. In a rasping voice, I am Jesus Bordino. <laughs> You will address me as Senior Mordino. Get a load of this guy. And with that, I guess a bead of sweat trickles down his forehead. Ask him what her business is. Yeah, she spoke with his son. Yeah, I'm not sure that would be a good idea to reference, um... Well... Yeah, she doesn't want him to <laughs> go off his shirt. She's gonna ignore the whole heat, heat issue. Alright. Bringing up his son. He studies her for a while and shakes his head. You are a woman. What I need done is not woman's work. Well, I don't think she's surprised at the sexism. Yeah, well, she's not going to beg. Just going to claim she can do it and see what he says. Anything? Sticking out of his pockets? No. Very well. I've worked for you. Takes a deep, wheezing breath, wipes sweat from his forehead, 
This package to the stables north of Reno. Give it to a man, Ramirez, then return. <sighs> All right. Yeah, it does sound easy enough. Too easy. Yeah, she's not going to ask what's in the package. All right. Head north up Virgin Street, past the casinos, follow the trail that leads outside of town. That's how to get to the stables. All right. Oh, look at this. We have no choice. We have to go right now. Needed to heal Vic up. All right. Vic's going to have to sleep in the stables. Look at this package. Is this it? Ramirez box, which is closed. They hadn't really even discussed price. Otherwise, I think she'd be tempted to open it if it's some paltry amount. But you know what? If Mordino's got this much clout in town, I don't think she would open it. All right. <laughs> oh, slave pens. All right. So, Mordino family, they're slavers the size of, well, whatever else. Gambling. I guess the usual gamut. Has anyone seen Subject 31? It's just here a second ago. Now other people are giggling. Must be on drugs. All right. Well, I believe you said go through north, but I think we might be here already. I think this will uh, check this out a little bit. Goop piles. I forgot about that. Still have <laughs> not given up hope of finding some buried treasure in one of these. If they're really tricky, it'll be a goo pile shaped and disguised as something else. Where did I leave that syringe? Yeah, they're doing something wacky in there. Wish these slaves would just shut up. <laughs> All right. Not sure what this is. Probably gonna be horrified whatever we see. Well, it looks pretty normal. What is this, water? Tank. Yeah, large water tanks. Well maintained, probably a good thing. But the lights are blinking red. So we're looking for 